Request by a Texas congressman for the number of convicted criminal migrants in the U.S. became a new attack line for Republicans. Congressman Tony Gonzalez says the raw numbers he got back shocked him. KXAN's Tom Miller talked with The Hill's Rafael Bernal about how those numbers then got spun and taken out of context. Walk us through this data that Representative Gonzalez asked for, and then what did he end up getting back? So Congressman Gonzalez said he wanted to know how many criminal non-citizens were loose in the United States, were not under ICE custody. And, and ICE Director Patrick Lechleitner, he gave him back exactly that data with very little context. And what that data shows and, and the number that really shocked Gonzalez was there are about 600,000 people who have either been convicted of or formally accused of a crime who are not citizens, who are in the United States and who are not detained by ICE. 13,000 people who've been convicted of murder. Those numbers without context sound very, very, very scary. So you hear that number, 600,000, 13,000 murderers. That is scary, like you said, but this started to get taken out of context, got twisted for political gain. How did this get away from the truth? Well, uh, President Trump picked up a number, that 13,000 number, and he changed it from there are 13,000 people who at some point have been convicted of murder, who may be serving time, who, you know, and, and who've been in the country maybe 40 years, maybe, you know, five days. Um, and he turned it into an accusation, a false accusation, that the Biden administration had allowed in and released 13,000 murderers onto the, onto, you know, the streets of America. Um, that, that is false. This did get some pushback from not only advocacy groups, but eventually the federal government as well. What was the response? So the response came from the from the very top, from Luis Miranda, the top DHS spokesman. Um, he basically said this is missing context, and these are people. He said what the advocacy groups and the fact checkers said. Uh, you know, these are people who might have been in the country for 40 years. Rafael Bernal, reporter with the Hill. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. My pleasure.